Welcome. Today is Saturday, the 26th of June. This is a Stream Team Studio exclusive. Live in the studio, we have my good self, Eric McAlpine from the UK, Bojidar Iliev, aka Bojo from Bulgaria, Jean Lazaro Sana from Italy, and our special guest, Gidiaki Ueda from Japan. This special broadcast is to showcase the magnificent players that have qualified for the best of the best. A collaboration between the WBIF and the stream team. Without further ado, I would like to invite into the studio Bojo and Jan Lazaro. Hi, guys. Hello, Eric. Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hi, and uh, now our special guest, Hideaki Ueda. Hi, Hideaki. Hi, Eric. How are you? Thanks for yeah, thank you for inviting me. Our pleasure, of course. And uh, we have a few questions for you in relation to the best of the best. The first mm -hmm. one is, how did backgammon come into your life? Um. So, uh, so before I starting backgammon, I played uh, shogi uh, Japanese chess uh, on online on the smartphone app and uh, and uh, and then I saw uh, one Japanese professional shogi player uh, who uh, Moriuchi Toshiki and he, uh, as you may know he uh, joined uh, Monte Carlo and uh, he ended up fourth place at that year uh, and at that time he only ha uh, experienced the back end only half a year in my memory so and in the, at that time i thought so uh, i may be uh, improving in a rather short time and then and that's why i started back end and then I played uh, uh, day by day uh, around uh, six hours or seven hours. Uh, <laughs> and then that, that's why I'm really involved in, in this game. Wonderful. And um, how hard has it been uh, becoming one of the best players in Japan? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, mm, yeah, it was hard, but uh, maybe not, not so hard uh, compared to others. And, uh, and that's why, because I really love this game and uh, I really stick, stick with this uh, all day long uh, without thinking <laughs> anything. So... Mm, yeah, so that may be the factor uh, that uh, I climbed up to the top level of this game. Yeah, excellent. And with so many strong players in Japan, mm -hmm. has it been an asset or a liability with the option to discuss and study the game and the competitive nature of the game? How would you see that? Uh, yeah, no. Uh, so definitely Axel, I think, in my opinion, because uh, there are many top uh, players, kind players here uh, that would love to talk with others and discuss uh, about some positions. And so, for example, whenever whenever we go to a local tournament in Osaka, so the Michi is sitting there and uh, very kindly, he he's very kind to talk to anything. Uh, or in Tokyo, there is a Mochi, and uh, he's also a very kind guy. So and uh, there is a any other uh, uh, other many good players in Japan uh, under PR4. And that is definitely the axle to improve uh, the game. Yeah, excellent. And uh, do you have one backgammon match in your mind that you would never forget? 
Uh, yeah, that was a tough <laughs> question. <laughs> of but, course, yes. But yeah, uh, it's not one match, but um, the UBC 2020 challenge against Mochi uh, in this February, uh, January is uh, definitely one of uh, uh, the series I will not forget forever. And uh, also, as you know, I, I played uh, well, but uh, still I couldn't beat him. And uh, yeah, that, that was really, uh, mm, uh, I'm so sad, sad. <laughs> and so, and that was, uh, but uh, that was the uh, axle for me to improve more uh, to beat him someday. So backgammon world, watch out, eh? Oh, okay. We've inspired uh, uh, Hideaki here, coming back with some more. We look forward to uh, seeing that for sure. And um, what do you think um, about backgammon for improving the math skills of children? Children? Yeah. How, how do you think backgammon and the maths... Do you think it can improve their maths? Is it good for them? Can it help them? Can it develop them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it has some meaning to improve the math skills. Uh, yeah, like uh, counting numbers or uh, calculating probabilities or... Um, uh, it's not, not like math, but uh, rather like uh, risk management or like that. That's so... Mm. Now we, I mean, we can treat probability as uh, in my life uh, more accurately uh, than uh, who don't play backgammon. I guess. Yeah. Sure. Mm. And uh, what are your thoughts and expectations for the best of the best? this uh, new event coming into the backgammon world for the first time? Well, yeah, so it was a very uh, great format that uh, I really like to play a short match and uh, rather a short several match than play one long match. match. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to play against the uh, top level players in WBIF. And uh, I also enjoy, I, also, I will also enjoy your uh, commentary, uh, good commentary team. And uh, yeah, so it was one of the uh, most exciting uh, tournament in my opinion. Oh, thank you very much. And uh, we also enjoy commentating on your marvellous level of play as well. So uh, both both sides are very, very happy. Uh, uh -huh. And the winner for sure is Batgammon. Uh, Jan Lazaro, do you have anything you would like to ask? Yes. Uh, Batgammon, sport or gambling game? Uh, to me, like a uh, sport or um, like a field to uh, research or to pursue the truth. So, yeah, it's not like gamble for me. Okay. And is it important to adapt your moves and cube decision to your opponent's strength? Um, so yes, so sometimes important, and uh, especially against a uh, weaker opponent. And uh, yeah, so it's less important against uh, top level players, I guess, uh, in my opinion. But still, still important. Uh, like um, so, he's fear for something. So let's uh, play. Let's bluff or. Uh, let's play more aggressively or, uh, yeah, something like that. Uh, to put on uh, pressures on my opponents to make some mistake uh, because our opponent is a very good player here. It's... All right. And uh, Bojo, do you have anything you would like to ask? 
Yeah, I would like to ask Hideaki, uh, uh, do you have Hideaki a PR goal for this tournament? And mm -hmm. also, I, I would like to ask, uh, what average total PR would you expect from uh, all the seven contests they will be played at the tournament? They, you mean uh, uh, among all participants? Uh, yeah, first of all, about your your uh, your personal ah, okay, okay. PR goal, if you have one, and then about the average of all the the eight players. Ah, okay. Um, so my uh, my average among the twenty uh, recent twenty five matches in WBIF is uh, uh, kind of twenty twenty two point five or like that. So um, at least I want to play at least. Uh, 2.6, and uh, I'm very happy if I play under 2.5. And so, yeah, among uh, eight players, I expect to play uh, under three uh, as uh, eight top players. Mm, uh, I mean. I don't know much about other seven players, uh, and uh, but yeah, still I want to expect uh, 3.0. Okay, very nice. And was there anything else, uh, Bojo or Janezra? No, for me it is uh, all. For me too. All right, so we'll take this opportunity to wrap things up. A big thank you to one of our qualified players from Japan, Grandmaster Hideaki Ueda. And do keep an eye on future presentations uh, about the best of the best and what's coming up very, very soon. And do tune in and join us for some fabulous backgammon at the highest level. Be there or be square. Bye-bye. <laughs>